the Metro line-out converter. This is the one that I used. Um, and this one does come with the base knob. I'm going to go ahead and get that actually ran while I'm... After I explain how I did it to you guys. This basically just helps you control your amp since you're going to be tapping into a factory head unit. This will allow you to adjust it while... While not having to go all the way to the back of your trunk every time. So on the particular... This particular one that I'm... That I used... Here, let me, let me clean these wires up a bit. Okay, here we go. So I had to go buy myself some new RCA cables. My old ones are messed up. So the particular one that I'm talking about here, the Metra, your blue is going to be your remote wire. Your remote wire runs to your amp. Here you are. Just follow the blue wire all the way to your amp. Here you go. That's your remote wire. Your white... Your white and black, these are going to be, these are going to go to, I don't know if you can read it, but I'm going to show you right here. Blue and brown, that's going to be your white and black. And your white is going to go to brown. Like I said, I know you can't read it, but I'm telling you. White and black goes to blue and brown. The white goes to brown. Here you are, you have your gray and black. This goes to your gray and blue and your gray goes to your white and orange and here you can see I just have myself some butt connectors so I ran I ran myself these are uh got this for $17 or so for 50 feet of 16 gauge speaker wire this is how I ran ran to the front I have it ran all the way through here under the seat like I said I have to get it all tucked away ran down here it's going to be ran on the seat ran on, along the kicker panel and then here we are. This is what I was telling you. You're going to have these wires under here. And this is for the Shaker 500 if you have the factory unit right here. This is the uh, factory amp. You're going to have to remove this tape. It covers a big bundle of this right here. It's, it's tucked under here. Uh, let me see. It's usually tucked under here. You're going to have to unwrap it here. It's like a... I don't know if you guys play football, but like an ankle tape type of material. Um... And you're going to see two bundles. There are going to be plenty of bundles on this week. Your wires are going to be bundled together. This is your gray and blue. And your white and orange that I told you about. And the way I identified it, uh, because I ran the wires all the way from the trunk. This here is my negative. So this is going to be the... Um, I'm not sure which one. Uh, this one This one here is my negative on each one. This is how I remembered it. And then I just hooked up, you know, the left output first and then the right output. But here I'm going to show you again. Gray and blue. White and orange. Brown. Blue and brown. And here you are. I'm going to show you in the bundle. Brown and blue. White and brown. Gray and blue. White and orange. That's how I got it. I used a... Uh, these are T-clamps. These are, uh, yeah, I think that's what they're called. Um, this is just so you can tap in without having to cut your factory harness. Let me just show you all the way, all the way back here under my seat, right here. So my unit. Like I said, I in in the Metro one will come with an out. It'll come with a diagram to show you which one your left is. But I have it on here for you guys to eliminate your uh, the amount of work you're gonna have to do. Again, I'll tell you. The white and black is your blue and brown. Your white is brown. That's your brown. Just your white one. That's going to be your positive. That's going to be your brown. The gray. Just a solid gray is going to be white and orange. Your gray and black is going to be the gray and blue. The yellow is going to be your constant power. How I did it is I just tapped into my amp here. Because... My battery wires ran here for now just so I could test it up. But I have to tap into the amp for power. Your black. Where's your black? Here. Your black. Like I said, I've used this wire to extend it whatnot. not. Have it grounded with the ground on the amp. And then you'll have the RCAs. And, and this is going to be for the, the Shaker 500 factory amp. I hope I explained it well enough to you guys. And then if you guys aren't knowledgeable on how to run the power wire i'll show you how i'm gonna run it so this is um, i have it hooked here on my on my battery i'm gonna tuck it here under the fender 
I'm gonna pull it through underneath, under the fender, under the fender. There's a grommet here. Let me see if I can get it though. There's a grommet here. I've already gone ahead and cut the hole. You're gonna run it, run it through that grommet right there. Then it's gonna come out under here, under your passenger side. Uh, let me see if I can't get no flash. It's gonna come out here. Uh, where's it at? It's gonna come out of here, I believe, or maybe a bit higher. Either way, you'll see it once you push it through that hole that I showed you. You're gonna run it, tuck it under your pan, your kicker panel, under the side, tuck it all the way, put it under your seat, run it back, and then you're gonna have it hooked to your amp. And then once you get it back here, you can situate it exactly how you want it. I just wanted to show you how I cooked, how I hooked up the line out converter. This is the Metro. This is a Boss 1500 amp watt. And then these are my subs. I have two 12s kickers. There you go, two 12 kickers. I'm gonna show you one last time how I ran it all the way from the trunk, all the way up here. Tapped under here with some T-claps. These are very handy. You don't have to cut your wires. Got all my auto uh O'Reilly's, I believe. This is where I got all my wires from O'Reilly's, and this is how I hooked it up. There you go. One last time. Brown blue, brown white, gray blue, white orange.